Hello, I'm Albert Jackson with Man Cave Tips. Today I'm going to talk to you about the unboxing and the setup of the MG7120 I just purchased. Uh, it took me about two and a half hours to make this uh, video for you. Uh, this is basically just the setup of it and uh, uh, since then I've printed out some uh, photos and they came out really good. I'm really pleased with this uh, printer. Uh, it's exactly what I expected. Uh, excellent quality from an excellent company. Uh, just to tell you how much confidence I have in Canon, I'm shooting this video with a Canon HF R400 uh, camcorder. The photos that you'll see in some of the uh, video that for the setup is done with the Canon PowerShot S1 IS uh, camera and I'm reviewing an MG7120 Pixma printer. I have confidence in them because they have always given me excellent service. I, I bought a camera back in about 2006-2007. I had a little bit of problem with it and after about a year and I figured it was out of warranty, which it wasn't, according to Canon themselves. Uh, they paid to have it picked up, and they paid to have it shipped back to me fixed, and ever since then, I have raved about their products, and probably will not, as far as video and any kind of uh, printers or anything like that, it's going to be a Canon product because I know that they do have excellent service and they stand behind their products. But anyway, uh, getting back to the printer, you'll see how to set it up, follow the instructions that come with the, the uh, printer and you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Uh, you can watch this video if you have any questions, it should be, it's very detailed on how to set this thing up, so hopefully this will help you. One thing I will suggest to you is when you do start printing your photos out or whatever you're going to print out, I suggest that you use their paper uh, if possible. Uh, I tried using another brand because I didn't have any uh, the photo paper after I ran out of the samples that uh, they sent with the printer and uh, they didn't turn out as well. Uh, they were it's a little heavier weight paper and I don't suggest that you use anything except Canon paper when possible. If you do happen, this is the photo paper that they sent and I went and purchased some today. Uh, it is, uh, I'll show you right here if you can see it, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's uh, 4 by 6 paper and it's 73 pound weight. That's what you need to make sure that you get if you're going to get another brand and uh, it's a photo paper plus glossy too. Uh, it does an excellent job when you're printing photos out with uh, this printer and that's what I got it for. It, it is super fast. Uh, I photographs printed out between 45 seconds and 45 and 50 seconds for a 4 by 6 on the highest setting. Uh, and it, uh, came out really well. Uh, on, you'll see in the video when I did a copy, it copied a sheet from the time I pushed copy uh, and to start printing it, it took about 10 seconds to print out uh, a copy. So that's, and it was excellent quality. And it was on plain paper. Uh, since then I got some uh, inkjet paper, which I can't imagine what kind of quality I'm gonna get when I start using that. But I hope you watch this video and I hope it helps you. Uh, if you have, uh, have any problems setting it up, I hope this helps you out. And I hope you watch more of my videos. And uh, if you like this, uh, please let me know. Leave comments or any questions or anything and I'll try to get back to you. And I hope you enjoy it. Have a good day.
this is what you get with a printer. You get a, uh, let me back up a little bit so you can see everything that comes with the printer. You get six cartridges. I think these are probably starter cartridges. We'll find out later in the video. And of course the printer itself, which is a really, it, uh, it's probably not going to see as good as what this thing actually looks like. I have left, if you'll notice right here, I have less, left the plastic cover over the uh, LCD screen. I did that on purpose because when I put the ink in, I don't, I, I don't think it'll leak any, but I'm going to make sure. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I may have to take it off. I don't know if a touch screen will be able to uh, feel my touch when I touch it or not, but uh, just a safety precaution on my part. Uh, it looks to me like they give you a sample 4x6 sheet of uh, glossy paper, Canon paper. Uh, I hear that you should use that if you want the best quality uh, photograph. And this is uh, the main purpose I got this printer is I heard it prints out excellent photographs and that's what I want. That's the main sole purpose of this printer. <clears throat> I don't care about ink usage. I've, I already knew that going into this. That uh, I don't know of a printer out there that doesn't have a large amount of ink usage. And if it doesn't have a large amount, it probably doesn't have good print quality. So you have to sacrifice some things to get what you want. Uh, and I'm willing to sacrifice that because I do want photographs to look like I want photographs to look. Uh, you get the, uh, the installment software CD. Uh, I don't know. I think it, I'll look at the software once I start putting it all together. Uh, then you get the instruction manual, uh, a very thin one. I downloaded uh, a version off the uh, internet, which I always do for anything that I purchase because it's a lot more detailed and gives a lot more uh, in-depth discussion on how to put stuff together. But uh, it's also got uh, quick start manuals. They both look like they're ones in English and one is in uh, Spanish. I won't need the one in Spanish. I, I can't even tell you whether it's in Spanish because I can't, I don't know the language. But and you also get a uh, power cord. One thing you don't get with this, uh, I don't know if you're expecting to get that, but uh, just be noted that you do not get the USB cable uh, if you're going to connect it straight to your computer like I'm going to do. So, I, But I had one laying around. Uh, that's uh, When I researched it, that's the reason that they said that they didn't send one. Most people have one of those laying around somewhere. Well, maybe they're no more people than I do, but uh, I've been on several occasions when I was stuck without one. But uh, I do have one laying around, so that wasn't an issue for me. Uh, just so that you know, if you do purchase this, you will not get a USB cable. Now I'll get to setting this thing up. Okay, now I'm going to show you where the uh, your your memory cards load into the Canon printer. You lower this tray right here. I'll put a little light on it so you can see. And I'll try to get it in as close as I can. But right there is where you would put your like a sand disc or a, a whatever top memory card that you have would be loaded right there. Here are some other connections. This will be your power, where your power hooks up. This is where your uh, USB port would hook up, and this is where your Ethernet cable would hook up. Now the 
first time you open the lid, uh, the operation panel they call it, I believe, you'll see an orange tab. Located right here, this needs to be removed. Just lift it up, take it out. You'll see a groove at the top here, and a groove at the top of this, and it goes in that direction. Plug the power cord in. Now we'll move back around to the front. Now you select your language, which I'm going with English. Tap it. It says tap OK and start the setup by referring to getting started instructions. OK. It says to lift the lid. This is where it's going to get grainy. Let me get some light. We move, remove the protective tape first. The proper way to do it is to take, pull back on this, put no pressure on the cap itself, and pull back. Don't want to damage these little pins on the side. Then it says slide the cartridge in and snap it into place. I'm going to get right back over here. It's in place and the red light as you can see, it's going to be lit up. I mean, move the camera so you can see. See the red dot right there. Okay, now you can see all ink cartridges have been installed. And make sure that all the red lights are on, as you can see they are and that means that it's ready for its alignment. So we'll get ready to start on that. I noticed that uh, when I closed the lid, when it started doing its thing, the lid automatically opened and the screen says do not close the lid. I'll see if I can get a close up of that for you. says do not close the power output tray for about three minutes. It says head alignment required. So what I'm going to do is set up the tray and I'll show you how to do that. You get a sheet of paper like this. It's got the right bottom corner cut out. That goes in the bottom right corner of your tray. Here's your tray. It 
slide this all the way back, this all the way over, this to the bottom, this to the right. Place the paper in the tray with the notched corner in the right hand corner. Then you slide this over until it meets it. They will slide together. Don't get it too tight, just enough to get it holding in place. And slide this forward until it touches the little tab. <coughs> then we're going to insert the tray inside the printer. Press OK. It says it'll take about six minutes, so I'm going to turn this off. Okay, it's finished. The alignment is set up. And as for right now, all it says on the screen after that, and I've already gone through that, it's just self-explanatory. It wants you to load the bottom cassette with paper. And you just press OK, and then you close the door and then you uh, install the paper the same way you did the test alignment page and then you're ready to set it up to whatever you're going to set it up to. It asks if you want to set it up to LAN uh, a wireless network or whether you want to set it up to USB. I'm setting mine up to USB uh, because the purpose of this printer is to print pictures out at a fall festival. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll make a copy of something that I have here and just see what it looks like. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to uh, make a copy. I'm doing everything I can before I set it up to my computer. So let's see what we've got on our screen first. We've got copy, scan, or cloud. We're going to copy. So you press the copy. A4 paper, that's what we want. I see you have to push what color, if you want a color or black. I press color. You see how long it takes. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten seconds. I like it. That is really a good picture. I don't know if it looks good on the. Let's back it up some. Take a look at it. I don't know if you can see it good or not. It made an excellent copy. Actually, it looks better than the pamphlet, except it's not shiny. This is on plain paper. I'm amazed. It's got really good color. And I'm surprised at the text. It's so clear. That small print, and it's still very clear and easy to read. So, I'm pretty pleased so far. i uh, yet to print a picture out, but I haven't got it set up for that yet. So, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, now here's where my instructions go away from me. I'm going to try to install the, the printer software with the USB. So it doesn't tell me what to do, so I'm going to enter the, hopefully, I'm going to install the CD in and see if it will lead me through this, hopefully it will. Okay. Almost like the language English. And then I'm going to say, it, it's wanting me to go to see how I want to set it up.
says it's installing a setup guide. I want to say USB connection. And I want to say next. Let's see. I don't want to get any junk. Okay, it says MP drivers, user manual, my printer, uh, image garden. I want that. Oh, so I'm going to say next. And I don't know what would happen if you didn't agree to these terms. Okay. Yeah. I've got Bit Defender. It'll probably try to block it. Okay, it says setup complete. Setup is complete. The product is now ready to use. Click next. Okay, I want to go ahead and register it. I've already got the information I need. Okay, I've registered pro uh, product now, and I'm going to show you a couple of things that will probably come in handy for you. Uh, one thing I, I'll, you can do this, they say, from the printer itself, but I'm going to show you how to do it once you're on the computer to check the status of your ink. It's a little bit more, I was hoping it would be on this little icon thing here that they put on the desktop, but it's not available there. So I've got Windows 7, and I go to the little ball in the corner, ribbon, I think they call it, and go to uh, Devices and Printers, and then it shows right here, it shows the Canon MG7100, which is, I've got 7120, but it's the same thing. You right-click on that, and you go to Printing Preferences, and then you go to Maintenance, <clears throat> it says quick setup main page setup and maintenance and then it's, it goes oh here's where it is view printer status and it has right here it says <clears throat> printer is online estimate ink levels it shows down here you'll see they look like they're almost all full I thought I had just a sample but it looks to me like they've probably sent me a full supply of ink, which is, um, thank you, Canon. Uh, I've always had good luck with Canon. And I have to say, this was not nearly as difficult to set up. I've read a lot of comments online, and they say this was a really hard process, but it's a breeze to me. It was simple. You just follow the instructions, and it just basically sets itself up. I haven't set it up for online, but it evidently set itself up, so it's set up for online printing, and it's also set up, uh, I haven't set up it on my network, I've got another computer over there, and uh, I, I'm going to set it up after I get through using it for, like I said, I'm using it for a fall festival. But I don't know of anything else right now that I can tell you. Uh, you can, you've got these little icons here, and I'm going to go look at this. Uh, it's got a little icon, of course, where you can purchase Canon products. It comes right up to the Canon uh, website, which is really handy in case. I do order from Canon a lot because they have the best customer service of anybody I've ever dealt with ever before. And uh, that's why I continue to buy their products. 